Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to, we're gonna look at how you can backup your saved games, and especially the saved boost trips for Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, there is some documentation available on the internet, including the one from Asobo, but I do think that there are some errors in the document. So let me show you where you can find it, right? So the things which we're talking about is really, I would say, the boost trips. So the boost trips, right? Uh, in most cases, they will, I would say, contain different parts so in this case for example the uh socas airport to uh McGav airport contains i would say roughly or not roughly 17 uh legs and it would be nice that if you can that you can keep this saved game right so in worst case uh if you need to reinstall flight simulator uh you might need to back up it this content because it's not part of the cloud save so some of it, like for example, the uh, track time, so the, the logbook, that's part of the cloud safe. But for example, this part is not part of the cloud safe. Maybe I should say yet, because probably it will, they will add it soonish to the uh, cloud safe, because this is a content which I would say, it's a little bit of pity that I didn't add it, because if you forget to back up this data, you're kind of screwed. So to be clear, we're talking here about the store version, right? So not the stream version, but the store version. For the stream version, you need to, I would say, back up a different directory. So now we discussed this, let's uh, go to the uh, directory where you can find it, right? So according to Asobo, it should be in you, my, your My Games directory. But as you can see, there is no uh, directory here, which is flight simulator or anything else so that's when i thought okay hey but why would it be there because there's already a local cache folder which is the flight simulator folder containing a lot of folders right including the packages folder which by default contains the community folder but also the one store folder which are the packages which are included for flight simulator for for example the world updates but also the airplanes, but also the default content, but also the community add-on add-ons, right? Which you might have installed. You always put them in the community folder in the packages directory. Uh, so that's that's something you need to keep in mind. Well, if you go up one level, you will find the local state and the roaming state. So the roaming state in this case is empty, and I don't think that it's currently being used. Uh, maybe it's used by a specific directory or specific content. But in our case, what we need to do is go into the local state and there you will find the missions folder. If you go into that missions folder, you will find a custom folder and an activities folder. In that activities folder, you will find the saves for your boost trips. So in this case, you can see that I've got a boost trip for France and a boost trip for Microsoft. You can see that naming convention is still an issue because they're not i would say adhering their own uh, naming convention but if i go into this one i can see both the uh, cloud safe which contains the flight plan the spb file and the wpr file uh, the, so this is the what this is for the weather data and the other ones are for the safes and you, i can see another one which contains exactly the same files i'm not sure why it's uh, stored twice uh, I do think that this, I would say, is the main folder and this is the per lag folder, but that's something I need to figure out. So what you need to do is, if you want to make sure that you're not losing any progress, is make sure that you copy this directory, right, the activities folder, on a regular basis. Because else you will probably lose your progress if you, for some reason, need to reinstall Flight Simulator, or maybe if you need to reinstall your complete machine, if something goes really, really, really wrong, uh, keep that in mind. So again, go into the packages directory. There you will find the flight simulator directory. There you'll find a local state folder and that will contain the missions and also include these activities, but also the custom one, right? The custom flight also is there uh, if you created a custom flight, for example. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about videos I'm creating, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel.